Well, good evening, Elizabeth. Um, so, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, as Elizabeth has said, and I've been meditating for 37 years. Um, it's been just the greatest gift to give stillness and peace and contentment within the being and allows the heart to open and experience the sweetness of life that is there all the time but kind of can easily be forgotten. So meditation is just wonderful, wonderful. So I have a reading here from Mr. McLaren, who most of you know, the uh, founder of the school. And he said, the beautiful, the beautiful analogy given to us is where the human spirit is likened to the river Ganges. And the river Ganges rises in the Himalayas, high up. It is a most mysterious beginning. It gouges out of a deep cavern under a glacier. And even there, it is quite a river at its very beginning, though very small compared to what it afterwards becomes. And this little river rises out of the bowels of the earth, flows into great mountain ranges, which stand in its way all around it. And these mountain ranges are like the philosophies and religions of the world. There they stand in their magnificence, lofty but fixed. They cannot move. And the river fills up the hollows, flows around the mountains, avoids the ravines, a most mysterious feature of a river. And winding for 250 miles, it gets clear of the Himalayas, which are all welcoming it. And it flows down into the valleys and after a long journey, finds its way to the sea, where it becomes one with the sea indistinguishable from it. It just keeps flowing. And the loftiest philosophy, the deepest ravine, does not deter it. You just keep moving. Just that. This is the nature of the human spirit, do you see? To keep moving. And to keep moving under direction, of course. The direction is the ocean. You'll get to this you will get to the ocean come what may and the ocean is that pure consciousness that pure intelligence which is your own self and the self of everyone else too where there is no difference between one river and another and as you gather strength on your journey like the tributaries flowing into the great ganges it becomes more potent, more efficient, more effective, but it still moves on. Not satisfied with its potency or its efficiency, but it is, the, it, is, it is still not the absolute. And this is the simple secret, which is the very nature of the human spirit, to keep moving always towards the same self. And you have powerful aids. The knowledge which you receive, which you will find increasingly practical as you come more deeply to understand it, the strength you receive, the meditation, this of, uh, is of great importance, and then the opportunity which the world presents to exercise your power, but stopping nowhere, still moving. Thank you.